So this is the session I'm sure you all have uh, been waiting for because we have some wonderful <coughs> experienced uh, people here within the podcast realm. Uh, what I'm going to begin by, and I'll just give a quick uh, you know, overview of what we're going to be doing. We're going to be talking to them and of course, uh, they're going to be sharing some experiences that you're going to carry for uh, the longest time that uh, you know one would expect. But uh, over and above that, uh, we will have about five to 10 minutes where we take uh, questions and uh, feel free to ask them because they're the best that you can have. Uh, you got to trust me on that. Uh, so wonderful to have you all. Thank you for, uh, you know, coming all the way to Navi Mumbai in this weather. Uh, you know, me and Noah has been sort of running all over the place and all of you on a Saturday. Uh, <coughs> tell me, you know, and I'll begin with uh, you, Suchita. Um When, you know, you started, uh, of course, it's... Uh, Storytelling was a medium for you and you've been a creative professional, a filmmaker. Uh, why podcasts and why do you think that it was relevant at the time you started? Because you're sitting with 100 podcasts uh, for both your shows. Yes. Um, I, uh, I'm 2019 is when I started. I was already a filmmaker. I was shooting my first feature length film. And uh, podcast was a sort of uh, an extension in terms of storytelling for me. And uh, it just so happened because I was also a big fan of Tim Ferriss. And I was, con I, was, I, was, I was a consistent listener of his podcast. And I wanted to sort of, I thought that video and film is a way of telling story, but audio was something that had a wider reach. It was also something that was quicker in terms of uh, telling stories where filmmaking takes a certain amount of time uh, and the audio is a quicker medium to reach, faster medium to reach and also in terms of your production, in terms of your costs, you drastically are cutting down into in your uh, making. So I just thought that this was something, a huge opportunity where I could sort of also uh, when it came to uh, mental health at that point, uh, mental health and well-being, uh, we were deep into mental health because of a personal crisis and this was something that was very related to build and that opportunity came to me and I quickly lapped it up so this was uh, it, it's a medium that's going to go very far also because you can uh, make it in different languages regional languages and make it quicker and faster uh, compared to films so yes I have a huge uh, huge uh, I'm looking forward to what all is going to come in this medium clearly and with a lot of our entries we've seen some diverse um, kind of entries and talking about diversity, um, you know, May is someone who's kind of been the May and Aditya here have been, you know, senior ones in the space and sort of the pioneers within the industry. Um, you know, May, when you and Aditya will come to you as well, uh, when you when you guys started off, I know I remember a time, I think in 2019, when someone told me, you know, I, I used to be writing uh, primarily because I come from an editorial background and someone said, why don't you, instead of a blog, why don't you just start a podcast? And I was like, okay, we'll figure it out and learn it on the go. And uh, that was the time that you all had already begun. What, um, you know, from then to now, today when we say podcast, people are like, hmm, I know what it is. But at one point in time, I remember they used to say, Achha, you YouTube pe bizarra baat baat karte ho kya? Ya radio pe baat baat karte ho kya? So, uh, why this boom, according to you? Um, I'm not sure if I can answer why, but I can definitely tell you that and as you mentioned, Aditya and I, like, I remember we used to sit out at the top of social offline and car social, and we were going into meetings where people would be like, what is podcast? I do not understand. And so we were having those conversations at that time. And now, um, and again, you're saying I was traveling. Uh, I actually got a chance to go to a, a conference in Kuala Lumpur. And while I was there, there was this one woman called Kelly Reardon, who had done this huge research project in Australia where they were looking at um, listeners, but understanding not just what they're consuming, but what they want to listen to. 
And I thought that was really fascinating. And one of the things that she had said that really hit me was that, you know, even I'm experiencing this now, even though like, I feel like, I know we're saying we're riding high, but I don't even think that we have at all reached the peak of podcasting in India at all. I think we have a really, really long way to go. I think we're emerging. But one of the things that she had said that really hit me was that like, I've reached this point where people are like, are there too many podcasts now? Too many. And I'm like, did anyone ever say that there were too many books? Did anyone ever say there were too many Taylor Swift songs? No, no one is saying that. So I, the exciting thing to be a part of this, and thank you, Yashika, for having me here, is that um, there is, like, right now, the most interesting thing, like I said from that talk, was that people are looking for more shows to listen to because they're trying to find stuff that they relate to, that resonates with them. So I feel like that was so encouraging to be like, there's an opportunity to make more shows, to make more podcasts and to be more creative in this medium. I think the thing that I really strive for is why not try something weird and new and experiment a bit more in the audio medium? Because I've been doing audio for my whole life and I 100% would tell you there, we have not even tip, tip of the iceberg in terms of like the different kinds of formats and sound design and music and, you know, the things that you can explore experimentally in the audio space, I don't think have even been done yet, which is why like I'm excited because there's so much more to go. Yeah, truly. And, uh, you know, coming to you, Abhay, uh, you've sort of been, um, I would say the... Uh, the kharka, uh, you know, the flavor or the kharka flavor or the Indian flavor that you get into your shows. Uh, and, you know, we're talking about how podcasts are riding the India wave or are they actually, just like uh, me mentioned. Um, there's, and also Suchita was mentioning, you know, content in different languages. And uh, for you, Hindi has been a wonderful language where you've been telling the stories. Uh, when it comes to correlating or relating or relatability with respect to an Indian audience. Do you think that the closer you hit uh, the emotional chord, the better the story? And um, how can young podcasters, and there'll be so many uh, that are coming up, um, differentiate their podcast with respect to storytelling? I think uh, the answer is more in being genuine. Is everyone okay with Hindi? Anybody who's not? Okay, I'll, I'll put in English form for you. So, how did podcasting start for me? Uh, unlike me, Aditya, everybody over here, I am a mechanical engineer who went into management consulting. So, I'm not a creative person. I was a kid in my childhood. I was a kid in my childhood. I was a kid in my childhood. So, I was a kid in my childhood. So, I was a kid in my जब 2020 में, just before the pandemic, somebody said कुछ podcast होता है, किसी ने उससे पहले तारीफ कर दी थी कि आपकी आवाज बड़ी अच्छी है, मैं अपनी बढ़ाई नहीं कर रहा, पर किस्सा बता रहा हूँ। तो मैंने कहा ठीक है यार ये like podcast शुरू करते हैं, and how Suchita mentioned it's easy to get started with, relative to a camera or to a YouTube production, जिसमें बड़ा झमेला, दीवार सही करो, अच्छा look लेके आओ, ये लेके आओ, छोड़ दिया। I said podcast is good, kind of suits to your need, and I started doing that. Now, immediately, like when I started doing it, the problem was I was staying in an environment where there was construction of the day. Day. If you look at Pune, it's like it's made. It's like it's made. Kind of Mumbai in some places. It's made. So, the problem was that record it. It's written. It's written. Monday to Friday, it's been done. Saturday, Sunday, it's just time. Milta tha. Saturday, it's written. It's written. I do a storytelling show. I write my own stories. Narrate them. So, Saturday, it's written. It's written. Sunday, it's written. It's written. Now, record it. It's written. It's written. It's written. So I used to sneak into my office, which was 10 kilometers away from my place. Sunday was jada tha. And I, I used to tell the guard, I used to carry my office laptop, but I used to tell the guard, that there is something deliverable, hai, very urgent, I don't have a net, I need to be here. Guard never said no. And back in the day, I never used to have to take permission from anybody in my boss or somebody. So now I'm in my manager's cabin, which is with which I eat with Sunday, I'm sitting Sunday ko usi ke cabin mein baith ke record on Sunday. And the, you know, the topic says, uh, India riding the high of digital audio. I don't know about much about that. I think, you know, from a professional standpoint, May and uh, Aditya can comment more there. I was definitely having the high of making content. I was recording a story in my life, 
चोरी चुपके गया उसका ऐसा ओरिजिनल स्टोरी बना वी ऑल पुट स्टोरीज ऑन इंस्टाग्राम से मेन कैरेक्टर ऑफ माई स्टोरी यू कैन बी द मेन कैरेक्टर बट इफ यू डोंट हैव अरो जर्नी तो कोई पॉइंट नहीं है तो आई वॉज हैविंग दैट हाई और यू आर संडे रात को ना लोग कहीं पे मेरे दोस्त जो है वो एंजॉय कर रहे हैं मैं जाके रिकॉर्ड कर रहा हूँ गार्ड से बच के आया और आज तीन साल बाद वो कहानी सुना रहा तो अब इसमें पूरा जेनुअन फ्लेवर है आई आई जेनुअली डोंट नो के हाउ टू टेल अ स्टोरी टू समी विदाउट नॉट बींग जेनुअन अभी जैसे मैंने आपको किस्सा बताया यही है इट इज इट इज हाउ इट इज राइट आई एम नॉट ट्राइंग टू मिमिक आई मीन मी एन यू नो वी वर टॉकिंग टू दी ऑडियंस बिफोर स्टार्ट अ सेशन I am not trying to mimic. There are uh, voices that one can mimic, like Amitabh Bachchan or somebody else. You know, even in the audio genre, that you have to be like this. The RJs speak in a certain manner. I am not a trained professional, so I think somewhere that worked in my favor. That I was speaking my heart out, and that was something that maybe people liked. And in any case, because yes, slowly, slowly, they learn how to make a story, and how to package it, and how to package it, and how to package it. तो वो समझ आया कि ठीक है लड़का लड़की कहने के बजाय छोरा छोरी कह दो किसी दिन एक कहानी में थोड़ा और फ्लेवर लाना है तो मोड़ा मोड़ी बोल दो अगर कोई एमपी साइड से है तो तो वो धीरे धीरे फिर एक कंटेंट कंजम्पन एक ऑडियंस के साथ बैठकर काफी लोगों को ऑब्जर्व कर कर एंड वट आई ऑल्सो रियलाइज वन लास्ट पॉइंट हेयर इज दैट वाइल्ड आई वॉज डूइंग सर्टन काइंड ऑफ स्टोरीज एंड सर्टन काइंड ऑफ शो आई थिंक आई हैव द नैक टू लर्न फ्रॉम एवरीबडी सो आई वुड हेयर मेज पॉडकास्ट आई वुड ओके दिस इज अ वेरी डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट What can I learn from her, even though if it is not in the storytelling genre? So, kahi na kahi wo sare learnings. I think that is coming from my management consulting background as a day job. Ki jahan gyan milta hai, thoda utha lete hain, aur baaki fir thoda e jo creative element tha, wo kar liya. Uh, lastly, never I never force fit anything. Ki thik hai, because of my work, if I am not able to release a story today, it's okay. You know, let it be. Wo consistency aur wo jo kahi sare flavors hain, which is right also, which is required. उसमें मैंने आपको प्रेशर नहीं किया मैंने कहा आई एम डूइंग दिस फॉर माय सेल्फ अगर ये कहानी मुझे ही पसंद नहीं आती तो मैं उसको दो महीने बाद रीएडिट करके रीअपलोड कर देता हूँ तो कहीं ना कहीं आई थिंक दोज आर दी एलिमेंट्स वेयर वेयर इफ यू रियली थिंक अपॉन कि आप क्यों कर रहे हो जेनुइननेस आएगी तो इमोशन अपने आप आ जाएगा इमोशन आएगा तो कनेक्ट भी कर लोगे सो ट्रू and moving on to you uh, Aditya you are in the business of podcast so Idea Brew Studios. There is there are four hundred and seventy five podcasts within the space, uh, and we are probably you know we we're sitting in an audience where there will be podcasters from uh, amongst this audience as well. Uh, talk to us about the career opportunities that one can have within the podcast realm. So, it's actually a. fairly straightforward opportunity if you ask me you know if you think about the process of creating a podcast in a linear manner where you start with like someone like an abhay uh, who will have an idea he'll develop that into a script and he'll narrate it someone needs to package it someone needs to produce it uh, release it market it and if you have such ambitions make money of it so every step of the way is a career opportunity now for most of you who i assume would be in the media and the creative spaces uh before you actually get into a creative career i think exposure is very important so consume as much content as you can uh find where you enjoy the most not where the money is the most but find where you enjoy or find the most enjoyment and chase after that as a career opportunity so to yashika answer your question i think production is a great opportunity which gives you creative satisfaction you are technically a show runner uh, you'll own the entire process at the end of it uh, you are responsible for its success or its uh, failure uh, beyond this there's a, a writing opportunities there's voice over opportunities uh, there's a sales opportunity uh, editing opportunity for just the audio as podcasts start to slowly move more into the video space everything that you do in video is also there but at the core of all of this remains the ability to tell a story and stories are not always fiction you also have a great skill that is required in turning a non fiction piece into an interesting piece of content that is a lot of skill uh, and that comes with a lot of exposure a lot of reading a lot of learning uh, and the willingness to learn so yeah uh, tremendous career opportunities uh, but just keep your uh, keep your mind open to a lot of uh, learning and the quintessential one can podcasts be monetized the honest answer not every podcast you know it's the same thing that i would say for every author 
not every book makes it to the top of the best sellers not everyone gets a six figure advance or royalties for life uh similarly if your quality of content is great i mean i'm as a living example here great content great quality consistency commitment to the medium commitment to the craft and you can turn it into a meaningful viable career means done the same thing you know uh, she started out with one show moved on to now becoming a full blown production house so yes there is money to be made will everyone make money no uh you need to be really good you need to stand apart and like with every piece of success a little bit of luck has to go your way with the right time and being in the right time at the right place and that happens if you're willing to commit because you don't know when that luck will turn for you interesting um you know talking of so many entries that we received when we uh you know when we put out the themes we had food and business uh, we had food and um leisure we had travel we had business uh, and leadership and we had books and literature uh for some reason i feel that um as storytellers podcasters uh, people tend to stick to a certain narrative also the dialogue is a very common one to have uh, and to sort of reach out to and stick to uh we did have multiple entries uh within the books and literature space and some interesting ones in the food space as well as you all may have heard um but uh i'd like to ask you and you know let's begin with you may um what was your experience of listening to these uh, voices and these upcoming voices within the working professionals or the professional and the student category so one thing i got to say is a lot like all of the entries that i heard were all really good orators they all spoke really well which is also you know when you start out you're super nervous or you're trying to like you know you're not able to like sit up straight and speak right and be able to and so the thing is that like everyone spoke really well they have their voices there's an authenticity there and they really are trying to like be able to do a really great show I think the thing that and this is I think just me in a space that I'm in is that of course I'm hoping that as a medium and audio that people start to understand better be able to just up their production level slightly you know understanding how to use a mic and you know where you get things like plosives and and understanding like and how big you know an environment is to be in a smaller room that's you know and not do it in your living room do it in your bedroom if you're doing a voice over and understanding that glass is a super reflective surface for example and so i think it's just it's such like tiny tiny shifts that can make your voice over and your production just that little bit better and the couple of things that i really liked is that also and i'm i'm fascinated by this is that just the kind of ideas around some of the shows i think were really interesting and the kind of thought process that went into it and yeah i i'm amazed because you know it's you wonder like we how many steps do i need to get to be a really good podcaster and in actuality it's barely even half a step that you need to take for all of the entries to be actually become really great podcasters so i think that's the thing that i thought was amazing about the entries thank you what about you suchita what did what did you think about the entries yeah i just thought in fact i messaged you i pinged you saying that wow you know these were sounding on professional the professional uh, podcasters they were like all there and i didn't even think as may mentioned when i started i was as good 2019 that they were they were already there you know so it's yeah as she mentioned another half step and you are just going to like catapult right there what about your thoughts oh uh, i think uh, i some of the entries in terms of the choice of theme and topic were pretty interesting like i couldn't i would have thought okay books and literature that's the end of it you would do a harry potter review or something like that was the limit of my imagination but some of the entries that i heard went beyond that they they are narrating stories about just two characters and i didn't know that indian mythology had that many stories about just two characters you know to put up a podcast and to put it in such a uh, well manner so um i think the again the ideas again were limitless and people have to just make sure that they come out well 
some of these uh, you know books and literature they have to be well researched and just sort of take care of that in mind but yeah some of them were just astounded me that okay ye bhi ek topic ho sakta hai you know what are your thoughts aditi like abhi i was very pleasantly surprised and i thought to myself wow look how far we've come in such a short time because a lot of these creators came up with some stuff um which is not very natural so like you said you know there's a very very set format that conversation equals podcast but here we are uh, very happy to see that we're extending that brief going beyond trying to come up with newer formats so yeah more power to them really loved some of them lovely you know i'll end by asking you all um of course when we talk about skills that one must have to become a podcaster or be in the podcasting business the obvious ones being having a good voice or the voice modulation and storytelling skills but what's that one skill apart from these two that according to you would stand out an open mind anything can be a great podcast i mean uh, we could start a grand podcast with this as a starting event you know but are you able to weave that narrative uh, so that's really where the open mind is look for stories in just about everything and the ability to turn the mundane into the massively exciting is is the real skill everything else can be taught oh, wonderful what do you think actually it's something that um actually it's something that both abhay and aditya kind of alluded to and it's something that i realized even when i'm getting to meet people who want to get into the podcast space is that not enough people are listening to podcasts if you want to create in a medium like if you want to be a filmmaker imagine if such a that had never watched a film before you know that be so strange if uh, so many times i've met people who want to make a podcast and never heard a podcast before so one of the things that i think is super important which is where i've talked about listening to other podcasts and even aditya talked about like you know consuming shows you have to listen to podcasts and as many as you can and even the ones even if you only like a certain kind of show and those are the shows you want to listen to but consume it be a nerd about it and my thing is that the more you consume the more ideas you have the more you're inspired the more you're like oh my god i could do it like this and i could change the voice like that and maybe i could do this transition i love that sound design bit you won't be able to get those ideas if you don't voraciously consume a medium so i would 100% if you're creating in it you have to consume it as well so we have open mind we have listening skills what's yours i think um i would say it would be consistency and uh being passionate about it whenever you're doing it because on the road because my profession is filmmaking podcasting just happened to me uh, i realized that to keep the passion going how do i keep joining the episodes because okay i know i have a set of listeners but okay i need to catapult you know and include you know those set of listeners as well but the data is not there in the sense that the data is a certain limited data it's not like a tv tam you know that exactly you know so finding uh, areas where how do you reach out to uh, because i'm talking about mental well being and mental health and i would like to include everybody in that spectrum and i'm talking about storytelling and arts and culture and a lot of people can be included in that spectrum as well you know so okay we have a certain audience but to keep going and getting more new content and trying to reach more audience uh, i think consistency and passion is something that i need to we asked for one you gave us two <laughs> that leaves you with a <laughs> a tough spot <laughs> yeah i think uh, everything is kind of cons- uh, kind of covered you know mai bas kehunga ki try to experiment right in the beginning you may not hit the sweet spot and like i said earlier that uh whenever i used to write a story i i didn't know how to write a story i was never a writer so i learned with time how to, how to stitch a story what is a five act form three act form things like that and then i would go and reedit them main dobara likhta tha dobara sound edit karta tha do mahine baad wahi episode chupke se dobara reupload kar deta tha theek hai uh with the only goal in mind that okay does not matter like in the initial phases an audience would come they'll hear it and if it was okay but if i could make it a little better let me do that in the initial days no there's no hard fast rule that oh this was a story isne ek ka ki jagah ka kaise bol diya 
तो दैट इज वन लाइक यू कीप एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग टू द टाइम यू हिट दैट पॉइंट वेयर इट नेचुरली अलाइंस अलोंग विद ऑल द पॉइंट्स दॉइंट एवरीबडी सेट टू गिव वन मोर एग्जांपल आई एम अ स्टोरी टेलिंग शो लाइक मेरी मैं कहानियां लिखता हूँ बट यू नो समी रिसेंटली अप्रोच लाइक एन इंटरव्यू ऑन ऑन यूर पॉडकास्ट आई सेट आई मीन इट डजेंट मेक सेंस विद द रिदम ऑफ द शो but i do a storytelling narrative plus interview how does that sound so ab meri audience ho sakta hai usko na pasand kare ya jo bhi hai that is purely up to them because over a period of time i have realized that in my show they don't need like a 40 minute episode they are comfortable with a 8 to 10 minute time period i know them but i took a chance i said let me try like kya kya hai zarur kya hoga people may not like it uh, but figure out that how you can stay true to your concept and take this risk here and there either you grow to become something better or you just learn something completely different or what to what not to do in the future so i think experimentation could be one thank you we also have uh, you know shon in the is shon here yes yes hi <laughs> well so uh, you you have a <laughs> you have a wild card entry so uh, let me let me share with all of you all shon also happens to be uh, the co-founder of made in india along with me uh, shon we need one skill from you hmm. oh shit <laughs> you put him in the toughest spot <laughs> all of us are going to be like mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, i had tuned out <laughs> <laughs> but so oh, one skill uh, <laughs> yeah uh I work on the more on the administration side. So the one thing I'd say is, if you are getting into any commercial contracts with people, make sure that they're always in your favor. <laughs> wow! You know, wow! This <laughs> this makes business sense, guys. <laughs> but but more importantly, like the thing that I most enjoyed working here is, like Abhay said, do a bit of experimentation, but be someone who's. Uh, willing to listen to criticism wow. like listening to your audience is a really really important skill to have and knowing that you ne- are not likely to get everything right the first time so just listen to your audience too use uh, good you zoned out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these were good answers to be zoned out